How you doing everyone? I'm Green Zero and bringing you match of the moment number four here today. Let's quickly scroll up and have a look at what's going down here. We have a GDI versus Zocom, Gothic versus Bonus Room, Tournament Dust Bowl. So we have Gothic in the top here playing as Vanilla GDI. Pretty solid uh, GDI player. I've seen him play a lot of GDI. Haven't really seen him play a lot of uh, anything else really. And of course we've got the Russian over here. We've got Bonus Room. And he's drawn Zocom, so this will be interesting. Zocom versus GDI, what possible advantage can he possibly have in this match? I don't know, but he's going straight for a ref. He only drafted one squad down the middle there. So he's going to run straight down the guts. He's obviously not afraid. Bonus three, pretty good pro these days. Um, quite a few tournament wins. Gothic here, I'm not sure if he has any tournament wins. I did notice him get to the grand final once in a, a tournament not too long ago. I can't even remember what tournament that was, but he sent extra squad down to the left hand side, so he obviously wants that, yeah we can see there's his engineer and his other squad is going to the middle, bonus through, taking buildings, it's a good idea to jump into a building and then jump back out again and run because when you jump into the building it'll instantly extend your sight a really long way so you can jump in, get a big range boost on your sight then jump out and keep going, uh, you won't risk running into anything or as much, or you, you can see it coming, but it looks like Gothic's going to take that structure there, he's got an extra Ward over here, he's probably going to want to go see what Bonus Roo is up to. I would not leave Bonus Roo unscouted, he's uh, pretty mean uh, and he will kill you fast if you let him. So it looks like just the eco stage going down here, it looks like a second ref coming for Gothic. So he's second ref up and Bonus Roo already ahead obviously because he didn't pay some barracks and he didn't go for a spike. Gothic's probably uh, benefiting off that spike now. I mean, it does have to recuperate the cost of his scouts as well because he did build like three or four scouts uh, while Bonus Roo only drafted one scout. But he doesn't have a spike, so he doesn't have to worry about that. And he's going for an expansion, so he wants to get his economy up really quickly, obviously uh, needing to get a bit of an edge uh, in, the, in the economy. He's probably going to want to rush down his tech tree. I mean, Zocom really have got their super powerful Marv, and that's really all they got going for them. They got pretty good uh, aircraft as well, but I can't see the aircraft having too much of an effect early in the game. It looks like Gothic's just going to do the same thing. He's got five and two out, getting the Tiberium down. And what's happening down here? It looks like Gothic did sneak in, and he's got a foxhole in Bonus's base. Having a look what he's up to, it looks like Bonus is going to go for a pitbull instead. He's going for a pitbull scout. He's still got those scouts in the middle of the map, so they're keeping an eye on uh, what's happening in the center. Although they're not going to be able to really see that much. He's going to see that there is a pitbull coming down here. No, there's two pitbulls coming from Gothic, and he's doing a third, so he's uh, triple feeding his uh, pitbulls out. He's obviously trying to cut off Bonus Roos, I think. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. That's a really good move. He's really going to deny Bonus Roos the scouting opportunity here. He's not going to let him into his base. And look at that heavy damage mode there, so that people isn't going to be able to outrun those guys. And it goes down. Nice works. Refinery's up. Bonus Roos would have seen that, for sure. Nice power management. There's no point uh, going down on power when you don't have to, when that ref's not in use. He should send another one of his, uh, what do you call it, harvesters across there. Um, kind of optional, but it's better if you spread your harvesters out. And look, there's one, one's going now, those two going for the same refinery. And that power plant, Bonus is going to have to do something about that soon because he's down 50% on that power plant. I've said it a thousand times before, if you're going to uh, just peg away at a power plant, eventually they'll have to do something about it. And he has three and one on his expansion field. And this is going to be another ref, and he's sending another harvester far out. He's got five and two on his main field. Oh man, Bonus has become addicted to Tiberium all of a sudden. I mean, he's got a lot of harvesters there, so they've got the rockets on them, so they're probably going to be able to destroy that, uh, that scout there. But yeah, uh, Bonus, very thirsty here, uh, needing a lot of Tiberium. He's obviously going to go for his tech at the moment, I think. Gothic does have dual ref, but he's only got three there, and he's got four in his main field, so he's about two or three harvesters behind Bonus Roo. Bonus Roo upgrading, there you go, upgrading those power plants there. They're in a vulnerable position, they could get flanked pretty easily there. Uh, he's obviously got a comm center as well, there it is, and he's going for an upgrade, uh, I'd, I'd guess that's probably about AP ammo, I mean the other two, I doubt he'll be doing scanner packs, and no one really uses uh, zone raiders outside of garrisons, and he's got grenades coming in, and there's a big people form here, so it's going to be people versus people, so Zocom's going to have a, it's going to be completely even in this uh, match up here, you'd think that Gothic would try and push some of his advantages, like his predator APC combo, I mean the Zocom predator is bugged, so bonus is probably not going to respond with his own predator tanks. I think he's wishing it's 1.03 right now, and Zocom are a little bit more competitive. But it's going to be pits versus pits. 
and it looks like Gothic is just forming up here. Some units moving around there. I'm not sure where those grenades are going. And look at that, these halves is going to get hit. Looks like Gothic split his fire between two of them. It's not going to matter. He still gets one. He's probably going to get a second one. Bonus room needs to do something. He's got some units here. He needs to push them forward, and he's lost a second harvester. Going to lose a third harvester. I mean, he's got he's got heaps and heaps of harvests, so it's probably not going to hurt him too much. But that's going to be a big win for Gothic there. He doesn't lose too much at all, and he's going to pull out because he knows he's done a really good job there. Uh, bonus room, just a little lapse in concentration, and the, the units rock up a bit late. He's got tip field suits, and he's going for another expansion. No tech, and he's just cranking his infantry upgrades. You can see they're going really fast. He's got AP ammo. He's got a lot of infantry happening. Gothic's going to need his AP ammo. You think being against a uh, Zocom, he would have already got it, and he's upgrading it now. But he's deployed sniper teams. And he's got Pitbull Mortar, so he's got his text in it. So he's a little bit down on economy, but he's weak in bonus for his economy now to be on about par. He's got a nice big cloud of uh, Pitbull. Some of them could definitely use some repairs there. We can see there's a lot in that group there. He's got three sniper teams, of course, obviously hoping to hold it off. And he's going for his mark. And there's a big imp swarm moving out here. It'll be interesting to see whether those snipers get overwhelmed. There are a lot of rifle squads there. Uh, they can, the sniper teams can one-shot kill far out. Look at all these grenade squads, imp grenade squads everywhere. What is Bonus doing? He's obviously trying to... Uh, pull off something amazing here, I'd say. He's going for the spike up here as well. He's got this building here, he's got a lot of infantry. It's just infantry. Uh, they will be uh, easily destroyed by tanks though. And it looks like this Ma, I can see what Bonus is doing. He's just brought so many M grenades that the, the vehicles and structures that uh, Gothic's going to deploy will just be useless. He's just going to amp everything, everything he can. He needs to bring it all in at once. Uh, to avoid these sniper teams, because these sniper teams are going to start shooting off, and that wall is a big obstacle. Look at that, he's got to go around both sides of the wall, and he's splitting his force up, and the suppression is going to kill him, but he looks like he's force moving, and this is what I was talking about, finally, people using force move, and Bonus Tree gets his guy out of suppression. Those guys are still in suppression there, but he's moving forward, he's actually killing all those sniper teams, they got quickly overwhelmed. Uh, that's not good at all, and oh no, this is going to be terrible. It doesn't look like Gothic can respond quick enough, he doesn't have enough AP ammo, he's getting uh, taken out here, the Marv will come out, but I can just see it getting empnated straight away. No empty grenades coming out yet. Here comes the Marv. Looks like we have Pitbull Mortars taking out the MCV over here. Bonus repairing that down to save the, um, I assume he saved the Harvester. He's attacking over here, but he's pulling back over there. It's getting messy. All the jugs going down. He needs to empty that Marv and destroy it. But these people are going to destroy that MCV. And I think they're going to pull back. Yes, they are going to pull back. And no M grenades, he's had so many grenade squads and he hasn't finally, yes, he finally put him down. It's actually still a, a sniper team there. A veteran sniper team that he hasn't finished off. And where's Bonus Room going? He empty it and now he's trying to run. That's not a good idea. He could destroy this Marv easily. He needs to destroy those APCs because they have less health. And the Pitbulls have come back, so Bonus Root is down on his MCV. Has he repowered that rep up? No, he hasn't. I'm not sure if he's lost the Harvester there yet. He's going to lose all these guys and he's not going to get the Marv. That's going to be massive. I think he could have done a better job than that. Better job of that, actually. He did manage to take out a few jugs, but he's just lost way too much infantry and they're running away. There's still a grenade squad there. And now Gothic is going to take advantage of that. He needs to expand though, because he's just about out of Tiberium. This is going to be uh, critical because he doesn't look like he's harvested as much Tiberium as uh, what Bonus Tree has. Bonus Tree now has control of both spikes. He's probably bringing in a fair bit of money. He's probably made back his loss on those and sells off his barracks. He's got an MCV coming out right now. There it is. Great timing. Selling off all of space. He actually had a crane. Oh man, check that out. He has a crane and he's had that obviously beforehand, so it's allowed him to keep building. Uh, structures, not that it appears that he's really built much. He's got a MCV, I don't know where it's going. He's got build radius up here, so it doesn't have to go up there. And look at that, the crane drops another rep. All of a sudden, lots of economy going down there. Gothic needs to move. He's left his move way too late now. His move is a little bit late. He's got a sniper team in the mar that is not highly recommended because apparently it targets vehicles over infantry. I'll have to see how that goes. But Gothic is a little bit behind on his economy. He does no nothing. No economy stuff. He's got no Tiberium coming in. He needs to attack now. And weaken Bonus Root some way because Bonus Root is cranking in a lot of uh, Tiberium there. He's got one, two, three, four. He's got five and two already up. He's got two spikes. He's probably going to lose this spike here now. And Bonus Root knows that this field has now been colonized by Gothic. He's got some people, they don't have any upgrades. He's still got his crane. I mean, if he had a tech center, he could roll in his MCV and use Sonic Emitters because Sonic Emitters will devastate people. They'll just carve through in one shot. And if he manages to line them up, that'll be really bad news for Gothic. But not to be, not to be. There is something happening up here. It looks like the infantry are coming in over here. 
How many grenade squads do we have? We have one grenade squad there and it's almost dead, so he's going to be really down on his amp here. He's not going to be able to amp anything that uh, Gothic throws at him. He's obviously going to get that power plant. It's left out in the open. He's going to get outflanked and he's going to pull back now. He's going to get out of there. He obviously can't take on what Gothic has. Gothic has got a big force. He needs to he needs to push an attack here because Bonesha doesn't have anything he can really use to get into his base that isn't going to you know, run right into this attack anyway. Looks like he's going to pull back, he's coming back, he's following his forces, bringing everything together. We can see that Gothic has not yet set up Tiberium over here. And after that, he's out of money. He's just he's waiting for a little bit more to come in. There we go, he's probably going to drop a ref now. But he can't, he hasn't done anything about that spike, which is bad. We've got something over here, it looks like the people's are raiding around. This is what I was talking about. The crane goes down, and now these guys are getting outflanked. I was talking about this before, and now it's happening. So that's not good for bonus route. He's going to lose a lot of power on that. Two fully upgraded power plants, and it looks like the attack is coming down here. That's Oh, he's going to really be out of position if Gothic pushes forward. He's got an attack here, but he's not moving it. it looks like he's going to move it now, so Bonus Root is really out of position. And he's quickly turning around and going back. He realizes he needs to go back. His Konyo's in an awkward situation, awkward position, rather, uh, sitting around there. And Gothic has his force here. He's got snipers, he's got, uh, what do you call it, APCs, two jugs, and the mile. And that spike there still bringing in some uh, money. He might as well just destroy that now, I think. It's going to be having too much an effect, especially since he has two spikes and Gothic has none. That will be giving Bonus Root a lot more Tiberium. And you can see that he has, in general, harvested a lot more Tiberium than his opponent. It will be interesting to see whether he can hold this off. He's cranking out as much infantry as he can. It looks like Grenada squads are coming out here. And I'm not sure... Where is he? He's left the jugs behind. He's left the jugs behind. He needs to attack here. These huts are going to get in the way. And look at that Force Fire. I think he got confused that he was playing Nod then and waiting for a Rage Gen, but it's not going to happen. Bonus Rue gonna not going to pull that away, it's going to go back by itself. And here we go, he's looting them into this hut area. And oh, here come the Hammerheads, did not see these at all. And they're going to come in and clean up all those sniper teams. And this is bad, bad for Gothic. He's getting completely dominated. He's just waiting for the Emp Grenades now. Where are the Emp Grenades? No Emp Grenades coming in. There's the Emp Grenades. He empties his own, uh, a few of his own units there. But that mile is now going to be useless. Uh, the Emp Grenades have disabled it. There's rockets coming in everywhere. Gothic does not have the AP ammo required. And the Mar powers, no, it doesn't power back up. Goes straight back down. And look at that, Gothic completely annihilated there. Those hammerheads doing a lot of the work there, just coming right over the top and smashing him. And if Bonus Rue was paying attention, he might uh, notice those two jugs. He probably doesn't have vision on there, so he probably has no idea they're there. But if he, he branched out, he might see them. He's probably going to catch up to them, actually. Gothic's in trouble because he does not have an army now. He's got these raiding pits, and they do have pit bull mortar. So that's going to cause some damage, but there is a group of units down here. Look at that, I did not see these units down here. The mortar can destroy infantry, but I don't think it's going to be effective enough. These guys are going to pretty much destroy each other if he tries to go in for that. And it looks like Bonus Root is now cutting down these juggernauts here. Oh no, this is bad, this is really bad for Gothic. He's got no defense up here, and he's selling off because he knows he can't hold that. <coughs> Far out. This is not good, he's losing ground here. He's got his tech center, all his units in, in pretty... Uh, desperate situation. He's got Tiberium coming in. He's building Firehawks. This is good. I'd like to see a bonus who's got some Firehawks. He's got a group of units down there. He's got a war factory. He doesn't even have an airfield at the moment, so he obviously sold wherever he got those uh, those hammerheads from. One of them is a veteran. Uh, not too badly damaged there. He could move in here now. Uh, that Firehawk obviously has nothing to fear. He needs to watch out for those. He says, Look at that. Big massive foxhole dig in there. Maybe he was expecting an attack, but I don't think it's worked out. And where has that... Ooh. Oh, what happened there? Something went down. I think maybe a Firehawk got in and it stratified it back, but they're going to run in. Bones just runs straight in and it carves it on the deck. He's not going to be happy about that. Gothic is not going to be very happy at all, and his harvest is getting shot at now. Doesn't look like all of those hammerheads are garrisoned, actually. No, I'm wrong again. It looks like all of them have rockets, just about all of them. I've just about clicked on all of them. So Gothic, he's in a little bit of a situation. He's kind of trapped. There is an attack here, and look at that. Bonus Root has recovered the Juggernaut's far out, and this is why he's so good at this game. He just, just can do everything and make it work. And he's even making Zocom defeat GDI in this battle here. Um, yeah, it, it did look pretty bad for him most of the game, but Bonus Root has really you know, stood up to the challenge, and uh, he's done it very well. I'm really liking this game now. You can see that he's got those just rifle squads there. In that foxhole, there is a rocket squad, but uh, yeah, now, now he has one jug. He didn't manage to say, and look, the conyard is there, and all right, that's why he's getting those units up there so fast. He's moving his conyard around like all hell, and these APCs coming in. What are they going to do? Are they going to drop mines? It would be a good idea to just litter this outer area with mines, perhaps, although those pitbulls are probably going to reveal it and shoot it straight away. It would be nice to see that kind of mine drop. You can drop mines, minefields on top of one another, 
which has uh, been really powerful for me in the past with like, specific tactics. You can get a super condensed uh, minefield and it just absolutely dominates anything that steps in it. And a rig. Why did he build a rig? Maybe for another Marv, but the Marv is not there, obviously. He has no Marv. I'm pretty sure he has no Marv. Yeah, but that was a waste of money. And Bonus Rig is using these Juggernauts against Gothic. Gothic's in all sorts of trouble. He doesn't have any kind of power units. He's got APCs and they're not going to come in. And look at that. There's a Sonic Emitter that can range that one Juggernaut. He's probably going to get that Juggernaut. And here he goes. He comes in now. And look at that. Carving through those units there. We can see a beacon, but it's probably just an Orca Strike or a Sonic Orca Strike. And there those Firehawks. They're chasing. Oh no, they take the worst possible path and go right over the top and there's just too many rockets. He does manage to take out a few hammerheads, but they're just repairing and rebuilding just right there and taking Tiberium. Bonusry has all the answers right now. Gothic is desperately trying to hang on. It looked like he was doing a lot better in this game, but yeah, like I said, Bonusry has really pulled it back and there's another Firehawk that goes down and that hurts. Every time a Firehawk drops from the sky, that's going to hurt. Uh, Bonusry has lost another one of those uh, Juggernauts. So Gothic is managing to inflict damage, just managing to hold it back now, but Bonusry isn't letting up. You can see there's a big attack force down here now. They're getting ready to go in for the killer. He has just got total control now. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big show at the end here. Looks like another Juggernaut Husk going down. But Bonusry is just reclaiming. He's just been on these two Husks and he just captures them and loses them and captures them and loses them. He's just been so good at it, and is that, oh, I thought that was a commander then, but it's just a lone grenade squad. How good would it be to see a commander come out right now? I mean, probably not very effective because there's a lot of APCs around, but he could definitely destroy these jugs. That's for sure. And Bonusry is probably going to be looking to prod his way in here. There you go. He just moves forward. I'm not sure if he ordered that, or those guys just broke off by themselves. They may have broke off by themselves. And, oh, that mortar comes in and shatters those guys. They're going to pull back now. Gothic, just hanging on here. He's building up his Firehawk army. He's got his jugs. Uh, he could make a pretty good stand here. There's a lot of hammerheads actually. He needs those, he needs those uh, firehawks off the deck. You can't just leave firehawks on the deck while they're fully ammoed. And there goes some heroic units, but they're all getting destroyed. Those firehawks, looks like all of them are going to get away. So that's much better. Much better control, although it looks like three of those juggernauts are going to go down. And there's just too many hammerheads. They have too much health. A few units rolling into that field there. That's not good. And there you go. Command post crawl so he can put a sonic emitter there to protect his last harvesters. Gothic is not going down, he's going to stand and he's going to fight and he's going to wear, wear Bonus Rig down hopefully. Bonus Rig has a tech center here and a space uplink command, Oh, we're going to see some fireworks now. Bonus Rig is getting angry now, he can't get in, he wants in and I'm not sure if Gothic's going to be able to hold him back, here comes a big attack now, he should just send his all his attack in the bottom at the same time and just really confuse uh, Gothic here, just hit him from every single direction and here come the firehawks and they're chasing those guys around, they need a stratifier out now. Oh, one goes down, uh, two, three, they will go down, look at that, oh, that's not good, Gromage, that would make Gromage cringe for sure, and that Juggernaut there is also going to be overwhelmed, this whole base now is going down, oh man, this has been an awesome game, I can't believe it hasn't got more wubs, it's still on the members tab, uh, this is definitely match at the moment, uh, look at that, Gothic now losing this base, like I said, the Pipples are coming in now, they're coming in, trying to do what they can, they're going to be able to take out that uh, Juggernaut, but those two juggernauts that uh, Bonus Rig has, has uh, captured, like, like I said, he's had them for a while, he's recaptured them several times, so I've seen that in a few other games, and look at that, it's, it's over, it's obviously a desync or something happened there, but I'm definitely giving that victory to Bonus Rig there, uh, very, very good game, uh, Gothic, uh, he was pretty much out of it, he was down to his last few units, Bonus Rig had that game, and I think Gothic would concede that, that that's definitely the way it was going. We can see the units here, Bonus Rue, obviously because of his in-spam, was just massing. And you can see he just kept getting bigger and bigger throughout the game there. You can see only tiny, tiny dips. You'd think he'd lose a bit more. He obviously lost a bit there in that attack, but he really made Gothic pay. I mean, uh, Gothic did a really good job in that game, but at the end he kind of lost it. Uh, Bonus Rue just, I think he just totally outplayed him. Gothic had a really good, solid game, but yeah, Bonus Rue just, uh, he just used every single thing that, that Zocom had at their disposal and just made it work. And you see resources there. Uh, Bonus Rig never interrupted really, was he? He just went up in a nice straight line, whereas Gothic, there you go, that, that's his third expansion right there. You can see it was way too late. He ran out of Tiberium before he moved and it took him too long to set up uh, his expansion there. So that that cost him big time. That allowed a, a Bonus Rig to get in front. Is that a super weapon? There's obviously an Iron Cannon Control. <laughs> I haven't even noticed that. An Iron Cannon Control placed in the last uh, minute of the game. So he was really uh, just uh, showing Gothic who, who was boss there. And yeah, very good game. Like I said, Bonus Rig definitely had that one in the bag, I think. Good game to, to Gothic, though. He played really well. And just, just like I said, Bonus Rig just made everything work in that game. He just played so good. 
Uh, that's what we like to see. We can see it uh, looks like Bonus Tree got uh, $20,000 more. He got $167,000 to Gothic's $147,000. Uh, kill death ratio, pretty similar. Favorite unit was obviously APC for Gothic. I think Gothic missile squad for Bonus Tree. I can't stop saying it, but that was a really good game. It was so good. Uh, any other notable stats? 18 minutes, decently long game, both sides. Look at that, the stats are actually pretty close. Bonus Tree did destroy a significant amount of more buildings, but he sold more of his own. He created almost double uh, what Gothic had, obviously, because he's more about infantry. They got both killed about the same, so very good match. Uh, well done by both players. Uh, great play there by Bonus Tree with the Zocom. Solid effort by Gothic with the GDI. Unfortunately, though, it ended in a desync, but yeah, Bonus Tree definitely would take the honors in that game. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed that VOD, and I'll see you all later.